Melissa, a supervisor here at Reef Aquarium Design. Today we're going to be talking about jellyfish and what exactly we're doing here. One of the great things that I love about my job here is that I get to grow jellyfish and I get to teach everybody what we're doing with these jellyfish. Not many people actually get to see an ocean, never mind a jellyfish in the first place. But here I get to see them in each of their life stages, from polyps to aphyra and all the way to the medusa, the adult stage. So one of the hardest things about keeping jellyfish is that the information is really hard to find on how exactly to grow these jellyfish. Compared to our reef aquariums where you can find magazines being published about them every month. Whereas jellyfish, to find the information, you would often have to look up research papers and even books, which can be pretty hard to understand. Typically when you find jellyfish, you would usually see them at a museum. And that's because of all these scientific papers. But when you see these jellyfish and you get to see how cool they are, you get to see some pretty interesting things. Now, these guys don't have a brain, but they've managed to survive millions and millions of years, way before even the dinosaurs. And they're still here. They're still the same brainless, heartless little things, but they're cute and adorable. We've been learning new and new things about them every day. Scientists in Stanford has actually found cybernetic prosthetics that we can attach to move jellyfish in particular to use to actually research and collect data in the ocean. They haven't exactly reached the ocean yet, but they're pretty close. And for specific species of jellyfish, they have something called a green fluorescent protein that actually help doctors identify kinds of cancers. Practically every day we're getting a bunch of bunch of questions about how to maintain these jellyfish. They're getting questions like, why are they floating at the top of the tank? Why are they at the bottom of the tank? What is this green stuff growing at the edge of the tank? Like, what is this? That's what makes these jellyfish so amazing. It's causing people to ask questions and observe what's going on. They're learning about density. Jellyfish are made of 95% of water. If you change what the water has, you're gonna affect whether the jellyfish is gonna stay at the top of the tank or the bottom. That's affected by salinity and other things that's in the water, like temperature. The green stuff, that's probably algae. You're learning that light is gonna cause algae to grow via photosynthesis. And what can I feed my jellyfish? Everything you feed your jellyfish is gonna impact it in a pretty big way. By feeding them correctly, you can make them grow in massive amounts in a short amount of time. Because jellyfish can just eat and eat and eat. They'll never stop. But you gotta be careful with what you feed them because that can also affect the water chemistry. In the wild, jellyfish typically go through their life cycle based on the seasons. So they would typically grow polyps and become the next stage of fire during the winter time when temperatures grow even colder. And then by the summer, you would see like those big jellyfish. If you see pictures of divers taking pictures of the moon jellyfish, for example, you see they're really, really pink because of the food they're eating in the ocean. Now these guys, what we have, are more of an orange color because of the food that we feed. We feed baby brine. So here's a basic breakdown of our jelly lab. Right here, we got our baby brine shrimp, which we do harvest every single day. This is what we feed the entire jelly lab with. And then right next to it, we have our rotifer culture, which we also do harvest and we divide it amongst the jellyfish. Right across from that, we have our polyps. So these polyps are collected all throughout the year from all of our systems, and we just basically grow them there until they're ready to be strobulized. Right here, we have one of our systems. After we make our polyps into a pyra, this is where we'll grow them into Medusa, which is the adult stage, the basic jellyfish stage that everyone knows and loves. On this wall is our adults. We'll be going from one inch all the way to four inches. And specifically here is where the jellyfish that we'll ship and pack out to anybody who may want or desire a jellyfish. Every day we do keep a check on the rotifer population to make sure the, the fire get the food they need. The benefit of using rotifers is that they're smaller than the baby brine. So that means that the fire can eat a lot more rotifers than they can baby brine. What we do is that we grab a random sample of our rotifers and using this, we're gonna grab about 0.1 milliliter of our sample. So I'm gonna put it right here first. 
I'm gonna grab some iodine. I'm gonna put it with our rotor first. This is so then when I add them through the microscope, they won't be moving around and messing up my count. We at Reef Aquaria Design are trying to do is assist with conservation by keeping people excited, by keeping people interested and up to date about what's going in our oceans. We have aquariums going into a school to teach kids about jellyfish, about their life cycle. When people actually care about something, that it gives people an incentive to actually put an effort to make sure that will last a long time. So we can make sure that we're gonna have them for generations to come. It is getting harder for these animals in the wild. Not just jellyfish, but all kinds of organisms. So sea or sea turtles, your dolphins, coral reefs. They're facing a pretty hard time with climate change, overfishing. And if there's even a little bit that we can just help out, lend a fin, we get to see these great animals another day. This is our showroom. Uh, jellyfish Aquarium. This is one of the first aquariums you see as soon as you walk in through our doors. It's about 450 gallons and all pretty cool. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below and hit that notification icon so you can know when we hit our next video. Thanks for watching!